to our winner. The biggest story over the weekend, the current Mr. Olympia, Sean Roden, was accused of rape in 2018. And what had me hot about the story, the Olympia just went on ahead and banned him just based on the circumstantial evidence they found. And I decided I got to talk about that. So whenever these type of issues come up, because y'all know I am a supporter of the Me Too movement. I always go to my wife and I'm surrounded by women that are 35 plus. So let's jump into this and give you the details, but first. Y'all know on this channel I gotta put on my plus seven glasses of sexy as hell, work on skilling my craft, giving you a life game. This is my wife, Crystal. Y'all know her, some of y'all do. She is a professional, she's a medical doctor. So her opinion weighs heavy on a lot of issues. So honey, let me give you the backdrop of this story. This guy's the current Mr. Olympia. He got accused of rape right here back in 2018. And the story behind this is the woman said that she was coming to him for mentoring. He's married with kids. She's married with kids. She came to this man's room later in the evening looking for mentoring, I guess. And it says right here that she said he forced himself on her. Immediately following the situation, she went to the police. They did a DNA kit. The DNA kit said it found his blood and his semen in her. What was the first question I asked you? Does a DNA kit saying that semen was found in him mean rape? And what did you say? No, not necessarily. Why not? I mean, it could just be rough, rough intercourse. Right. I also feel like they rushed to judgment to ban this guy because he hasn't gone through the judicial process. Am I wrong in saying that? That there are... He hasn't gone through a court case yet. I mean, it doesn't sound like it, no. So do you think I'm wrong in my assessment that they should have waited and let him go through the legal process or just... I mean, if the, the premise is that you're innocent until proven guilty, right. then, then yeah. Um, I don't know if the... The organization has any other, um, I guess, protocol that they follow where if there's any circumstantial or if they, if they bring shame or bring some type of negative, mm -hmm. negative attention that they can ban someone. Um, I don't know if that's the case, but. So, like I said, I always mention I'm a supporter of Me Too. However, I feel like you have to go through all the evidence of this particular case because Men in any situation of power, stature, you could be a general manager somewhere. You, it don't matter. If you just have any position of power where people can come through you to upscale their career and you're a man, women can do things to try to get close to you. And a lot of women that know they are attractive will do things. They'll lead a man on blah, 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 blah. But no, it shouldn't equal rape. Never should it be rape. But at what point in time is there a responsibility for a woman not to do that type of stuff? And I'm gonna tell you how it relates to this story. She's saying she was coming to him for mentoring. That's what it's saying right here in the report. Mm -hmm. What kind of mentoring is going on in a man's hotel room at night? You know he's married, or you might not, but you know you are married because they're saying this woman is married. And the rumor mill is that not only is she married, but she's married to a popular bodybuilder. They're concealing her um, identity and that person's identity for obvious reasons. How do you feel about that? At what point did things go wrong in that room where it can be considered rape? Because we've discussed this before as a couple that, you know, um, you can be inside of a woman and mid stroke, she can be like, stop. If you don't pull out, that's rape, right? Right. Could that not have been, I'm not, I don't know what happened, but could that not have been the same thing in this situation? I mean, whenever a woman says stop or whenever she withdraws consent and you right. continue, that's rape. So okay. anywhere during that process, she can say no and you're supposed to stop. Right. But here's the problem with this particular situation. She's married. He's married. You came to his room for what? 
What kind of mentoring? I mean, so, what, what kind of mentoring are you getting from his bedroom, his hotel room? So say she came to his room to have sex. Okay. And okay. In the middle, she decides I don't want to have sex anymore. When she says no, right. after that, it's rape. Okay. So how did you prove that she initially gave him consent in the beginning? That's where you get into this my is, word against yours. This is the quagmire. You can't prove what happened in that bedroom unless he was somebody was recording it, and or B. Maybe he has text messages supporting that she wanted to have consensual sex and this has been going on for a while. Now this is when it comes to how do you protect yourself as a man or a woman in these situations? I think both of them had so many different opportunities to prevent this from happening. One, okay, let's take her, her case where she okay. was she's coming him for mentoring mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. you know some men can be crafty as well where they say you know put pressure on you this is the only way i'm going to be able to give you mentoring but as a woman um i'm not i know better than to go to a married man i'm married myself go to mm -hmm. a married man's hotel room exactly at 2 right um to get mentoring it right. just doesn't look right don't if anything right. we can meet you downstairs at coffee the shop in the lobby whatever and we can talk there right i can meet you with my husband and you in the room yeah but that still doesn't look right you and your right. husband going to another man's room at 2 a.m what are y'all doing in his room at 2 a.m so there's right. a whole nother situation that's being set up right um so bottom line is it could have been avoided mm -hmm. um just not going to somebody's room at 2 a.m it just it, it never you always set yourself up for something not happening and this is what i'm saying that they should have waited let it go through the court because he might have evidence that you know she's saying it was rape but he might have evidence that they had been engaging in a consensual a consensual situation and for whatever the case it could have just went bad that night you know, they both know they're married. Maybe somebody had decided that they're, they're, they're upset with their current situation and has decided that, you know what, I'm ratting. And if that is the case, and if that was a motive, and she felt like that was something that was gonna happen, I'm gonna just say he raped me. Even though they, she's done everything right. If this is legitimate rape, which it could be, we don't know yet, but she's done everything right. She went to the police immediately. She did a rape kit immediately his semen was found in her but that's not to say that she didn't want that to be that way where she let him nut in her or like you said it could have been from a prior time they had sex and she wanted it to be like this we don't know till his evidence comes out and as of now we don't have no evidence yeah, from him it's very messy um, yeah. whenever you're behind closed doors you literally are trying to figure out who who has the the the, the biggest the, the best integrity who has right who exactly has a, the track record right. of being more honest right um and in both of their situations it is it's, it's tough be hard to prove all yeah. i can say is people men and women you better have some receipts but the problem with them having receipts is they're both married. So <laughs> you can't have but so many receipts if you're married unless you're just on the rocks with your marriage and you're ready to leave it because you're not gonna be keeping text messages because you're married, you don't want your spouse to find it. You're not gonna be keeping sexy videos because you don't want your spouse to find it. I, the, my two points on this is number one, they should have waited before they banned him from the Olympia. There's damning evidence against him. But we don't know what evidence he has to prove otherwise. And my last point, and you tell me if I'm wrong on this, if it is found that this lady is wrong, he didn't rape her, I feel like she should be prosecuted because you ruined this man's career. He's been societally ridiculed. Am I wrong for thinking that? Hmm. No, I mean, it, it's, it's horrible whenever someone makes a false claim. Right. Granted, his career is ruined. Um, I don't. It's, it's hard. It's hard to say, but definitely, if you if you went and you lied to the police and brought shame to someone who really didn't do what you said they did, yes, right. you should be held prosecuted. For that. Exactly, yeah. and that's our life gains on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Another additional life gain. This is something y'all better start talking to your kids about when the sex conversation comes up, because these situations seem to be happening with greater frequency. And you've got to find ways to protect yourself. I mean, the only thing I can come up with is you better have text messages of you two corresponding because if it goes wrong within the confines of that bedroom with no one else there watching, it is going to become your story versus her story. Anything you got to say in closing? 
I think, I mean, men have to play it smart as well. Um, if you're messing around, you're married and you're messing around with someone else who's married, um, and you think that she's going to have, you know, some type of loyalty to you, loyalty to you, or you're going to have some type of loyalty to, to, to her when stuff hits the fan, it's not going to happen. Right. It's going right. to be me versus you, and I have to be the one to survive. And so, who knows what's going to come out? In right. The end. Well, this one was easy because they are married. But what about those people who are not married? You got to have some. You better cover your butt. Your butt better get covered. So um, you better save some of those receipts. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. Please comment, subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel about this whole thing with Sean. Let me know how y'all feel about, you know, protecting yourself against rape, man and woman. And until the next sex is hell video, we'll see you.